fix it up. There we go. All right. So, I believe we were exploring the town still, so... So I'll try to keep an eye on the drop frames um, to see if we start going into the yellow and reds again. Particularly for a game like this, I think that it would be a poor experience for you to watch me herking, jerking across the screen. <laughs> Variety is the spice of life. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Not sure to which you're referring, Richie, but uh, it is certainly... If someone really deserve, deserves murder in broad daylight, I didn't get to see the rest of that. It was probably a bad idea. It might have been the last of it. <laughs> lava is lethal. If you see lava, go away. You don't want to deal with it. This is the all right. So where are we? We're right here. All right. Okay, so let's get away. Get away from that guy. Okay. I think. Just gotta remember my controls. So what's going on here? Oh, that's a weird-looking bush. Oh, in the game, variety is the spice of life. Yeah. Well, let's see what trouble we can get into here. Okay, so we've got a river here. That looks like it. Interesting. Okay. I suppose we can go toss ourselves in the water, can we? No? Okay. Try to find a new cave to explode? I, I think that's probably a typo, but uh, yeah, exploding a cave might be interesting. <laughs> hey, it's a door here. Can we? No, no, oh, get back here, you guys. Those boots would embarrass a bridge troll. Get to shining. Sorry, sir. Nope, oh, somebody's in trouble. Greetings. Hey there. Oh, Legionnaire. Uh, I think I will take my leave. Bye. You guys all seem to talk about the same thing. Legionnaire. Legionnaire. What's this? What does that say? It wasn't a typo. Blow up. <laughs> okay. Uh, beware of traps. Okay. Hmm. Legionnaire. Oh, what have we got down here? Oh, it's you lot. To the barracks! March! Cool. Hey, drill sergeant. Greetings. Uh, let's see if he has anything interesting to say. Tell me about yourself. Legionnaire at your service. Okay, then tell me about Sysiel. The Sicilians used to say this was a chosen place favored by the higher powers, but they don't talk like that much these days. Okay, I've read that before. Um, Undead Plague. Okay, well this is new. <laughs> about the undead, Drill Sergeant says, I can tell you one thing about the undead, and that's to say, that is to stay the hell away from them. I've seen too many men, men and women put on a brave face and avowed undue death scourge only to be struck down and have their innards eaten out of them while their hearts still thumped madly away. That sounds horrible. Uh, what do you know about the Fabulous Five? I heard their lead leader, Saffron, was too occupied single-handedly reorganizing a southern warlord's finances to make it to Sysiel, but four out of five ain't bad. Hmm. The Legion? Okay, you've said that before. What about the orcs? Uh, okay. Bye. No real new stuff in that. 
Um. Those boots would embarrass a bridge troll. Get to shining, recruit. Sorry, sir. What does this say? You think that's funny, Private? I hope somebody getting dressed down. Yeah, okay. So we haven't really been through this section, I guess. I mean, I don't really see a reason to do it, but we'll just do that to fill it on in on the map, I guess. Empty bottles. No, it looks like it's over here that I haven't seen. Okay, let's go up here. Aha! Girls. Come on, guys. Well, that was disappointing. Is there a fire going on over here? I can't see it. I must be in the house or something. Okay. Well, it's mostly filled in now. Oh, I'm no hero, Esmeralda, dearest. I'm just doing my duty, you know, for the Legion. Well, you certainly are my hero. <laughs> the rock upon which I may rest my weary soul in these trying and troubled times. Never fear, my lady. As long as I'm around, no hair on your haloed head shall be harmed. Ha ha ha. You enough hitch words there. Ha. Ah. Okay, guys, come around this way. See if we can go in here and talk to these people. Water barrel. Yes, to get into Alpha it is very expensive. That's because they don't want a lot of people in Alpha. <laughs> it's, but uh, the, the game itself, when it's going to be released, it'll be much more reasonable. Um, ah, what am I trying to press here? Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Volume 3. Thank the seven, we've secured the perimeter. Can we read that? It didn't say that I was stealing it, so I'm hoping... All right. Doe, the happy child of water and wheat, serves as the base for many a hearty and filling meal. With a lump of dough in one hand and either apples, cheese, fish, or tomato sauce in the other, supper is sure to delight. Uh, yeah, if it only were that easy. Um. Oh, look, there's an apple, too. <laughs> oh, what else we got here? Empty bottles. I think I'm going to snag an empty bottle, too. I wonder if you can fill it. No, I guess not. Okay. Nope, nothing I've seen there. Alright, what does this say? Esmeralda's shop! A shop! Perfect. Let's open the door. Not yeah, open the door. Let's go! Let's go! What a strong and handsome officer you are, kind Septimus. You must have fought many a battle. Am I right? In fact, I'd bet you're a real boy hero. Oh, I'm no hero, Esmeralda, dearest. I'm just doing my duty, you know, for the Legion. Oh, those sound like such and fatuous individuals. Hero. Let's talk to the oh, shop security guy. Move along. All right, fine. I will. Ooh, wow. Look at all the stuff. As long as I'm around, no hair on your haloed head shall be. Ha ha ha! All the H words. Hello. Legion's greetings, says Septimus. I've been informed about your heroics on the beach. Word that I had been there to partake in the battle, but my duties lie here. Sworn as I am to protect Lady Esmeralda from the rabble that would enforce summary justi justice on her, even though she is, until proven guilty, wholly innocent. Oh, that's right. Esmeralda is the wife of the guy that got yacked, that was trying to find out what happened. Eh? 
Oh, she's someone to talk to. Ah, and you are? Septimus replies, I'm Septimus, seventh son in a house of not household of nine. Legionnaires all. Me and two brothers of mine were assigned to Sicile from day one. Alas, both of them have long since fallen in battle against the dead, but never shall I lose heart. Long as a single legionnaire stands, all of us remain undefeated in the eyes of the gods. Okay. Uh, what do you think about Esmeralda? Septimus replies, So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of Rivalon, my friend, and I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder, but in my mind her presumed guilt is a fallacy, and indeed a fabrication. Steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me, and I hold no such proof exists. All right then, uh, let's talk about Jake's death. Jake's murder is, in a word, a tragedy. He was well loved in all of Sicil. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador. That that he, of all people, should have braved the undead siege for so long, only to be felled by foul sorcery, is heartrending. I'd like to ask you some questions. And he says, what questions are those? Well, tell me about Sicil. Septimus replies, this place is practically a tomb, and these Sicilians are constantly crying for our attention. There's a zombie in my garden. An orc ate my baby. My sheep! My sheep is gone. Oh, woe is me. It never ends. I'll be grateful when our reinforcements finally arrive. Maybe they'll manage to muster the will to care. Yeah. Tell me about the undead. Uh, okay, I've heard, seen that one. Bye! Before. Yeah, bye. Alrighty. Let's talk to the f fabled Esmeralda, who is a blonde and walking away from me. Oh, get back here. No. Uh, hello. Greetings. Esmeralda says, Lords above, grant me patience. You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the matter? So Valentine says, well, hello, who are you? <laughs> I am Esmeralda, wife of Jake, and now, alas, his widow. Poor man, we were both so young when we married. He's so rich and I so poor, but his one and only princess just the same. All right, let's discuss your husband's murder then, Esmeralda. Like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed, and you're no different are you? So what happened? Some of them tittle-tattling crab chasers down in the pub call me a murderous gold digger and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. Uh, Bellatine says, can you tell me more about this place? She says, well, what do you want to know? Well, tell me about Sicile. Well, there are certainly some uh, interesting creatures running around these days. Orcs are only the tip of the British iceberg. Don't forget the murderous bones along the northern gate. And, if the rumors are right, the ghosts in the Black Cove. How's that old expression? When the blood spills, it pours. Oh, well, tell me about the undead. Esmeralda says, They came out of nowhere. Must have been, oh, two years ago now? The very heart of winter. I smelt them before I saw them in the night. Torchlight reflected in their eyes like it does in a predator's, but these were no wolves. These were our ancestors, come to devour their offspring. All right, well. She seems to be quite adamant about her innocence. We'll need to look for evidence if we want to prove she actually did the evil deed. Yes, we do need, need uh, proof here. Oh, but don't you worry, milady. Yeah, we can't go through that door without somebody getting peeved at us, so... Alrighty then. Well, we've talked to the Widow. So... Her voice. I don't know. Makes me want to poke her in the eye. You know, people with voices like that, they just... No, oh, no, you're... I just want you to close the door, please. Thank you. 
All right. So, Belleron's Clinic, the Green Crab Tavern, Morgue. So this is where we need to go. I like to poke around. I wonder if she'll notice her book is missing. Oh my god, I've been robbed! Well, it didn't have the little, if you take this, you're stealing note on it, so we took it. Oh good, you're fighting for a second there. I thought you were practicing. I thought you were getting whipped, and I was like, wait, what? You can look at these barrels. Uh, what is this place anyway? Cook's house. Greetings! These stores are for our legion troops. Riverlon's finest work up mighty fine appetite serving the seven. Back again? Uh, no. Whoops. I keep wanting to press escape to get out of these. Uh, Bye! Eating seven. Well, that doesn't have a your stealing thing on it, so. Ooh. Can't reach. Uh, alright. Can you move the barrel over? Eh, all that work and there wasn't anything in it. Well, dang it. Alright. It buffered a little bit. Okay, it's still green for me right now, so hopefully it's, that's going to be intermittent and stop. Just keep telling me when it does does that, if, if it's getting to the point of being unwatchable. I need to know. So I guess they're over here, through this gate? Or is there... No, I don't see a door there, really. Greetings. Uh, so I was just gonna take us outside. All right, open the city gates if you please. <clears throat> there says, "You don't look like you're quite ready to head out into the undead, infested wilds." To me, also, a party of one or two runs the risk of being outflanked and outnumbered. I'd bring some back if I were you. Of course, the choice is yours. But are you sure you want to venture out? Uh, no, I don't want to go out. Bye. Uh. I thought that that was where the office was. I guess the office must be up here. Maybe? No. Down this way? Oh, down this way. Alright, let's go here. The fruits. That was sloppier than Sicilian stew. Again! That drill sergeant. Oh, here we are. This is where we want to be. Attention. Legion headquarters. Yep, that sounds like the place. Well, let's go talk to some of the official. Oh my. Hmm. It's all stealing. Can I go through this door, though? I guess I can. Okay. What do you got in this room? Oops, I'm a detective. <laughs> the string enthusiast. Oh, interesting. Okay, hello, guy. Greetings! Ah, here we are. This is Aureus. Let's see if he has anything... oh, to trade. Uh, I don't think he really has much we can afford. Uh, let's... Can you use any of these? Cars level 1. You've not learned this skill yet. Melee power stance book. 270. Oh, that's going to be expensive. Courage alleys around you. Buy price, 606. 668, yeah. No, we can't afford any of that. Plate armor. We're not rich yet. Alright, let's go back to talk to him. <clears throat> Aurea says, What have we here then? A so-called source hunter, eh? Ha! Look, do what you must in Sizeal, but don't make waves. And don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, you hear? I have enough on my mind running expeditions into hostile territory. Uh, 
said. Valentine says, tell me about yourself. Aureus replies, I'm Captain Aureus, if you must know, leader of the Legion in Sicil, by which me I mean I have the enviable task of commanding a battalion of walking dead, for I fear it may well be but a matter of time before the undead undo all my soldiers and turn them into driveling hordes of their own misshapen number. Um, okay, well, let's discuss Jake's murder instead. Aurea says, God's above! Some politician snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar. Ridiculous. I told that wizard brat of an, Aru of an Aru not to bother, but he just had to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians. They see a pigeon poop and think sorcery's afoot. Nevertheless, I want to be kept in the loop, understand? I'm in command of this town, not Major Cecil, nor Aru, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. So, so investigate Jake's death, if you feel so inclined, but report back to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now, off with you. Oops, my journal got updated. Uh, in regards to Jake's wife, Esmeralda, Aurea says, Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, widow. Everyone in town down to the crabs on the beach is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has a reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. I'd say he's not a particular fan of ours. <laughs> Aurea says, What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Hardly. But I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect, uh, perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on reason. See? Not idle superstition. Alright, well, let's discuss the undead. Aurea says, Listen, you may be here for other matters entirely, but if there's one useful thing you can actually do around here, it's to stick your nose into the affairs of the undead. The stench will likely make you gasp for air, but between you and me, those seven wor and those seven worth worthless gods up there, it's about time someone other than the Legion gives this charade a shot. I can only hope some fresh ideas are coursing through that source-obsessed brain of yours, and that they will take root before the undead scoop those same brains out from your shattered skulls. They seem to be a bit weaker in the West, as good a place as any to start if you want to flex your muscles. Ah, there's someone the Legion should arrest? I wonder if they're talking about that nut bar in the inn. Jeez. Mm. I'm curious. I'm gonna click this. Uh, I don't know if it, it's immediately gonna... Well, we'll see. Whom would you have the Legion arrest? Oh. But is there really enough to rest the guy on? I mean, jeez, all he... Did, I mean, yeah, he was looking for somebody to... Oh, I guess it's a solicitation for for uh, murder. So, I, yeah, that is... Well, it's, it's illegal in our society. I don't know about here. Um, well, yeah, because, I mean, he might end up finding somebody who will whack the girl. So, yeah. And he says, The elf, what in the name of Ruru's are should I arrest him for? He wants us to kill Victoria. Braveheart says, it's true. He's a dangerous lunatic and needs to be incarcerated. Aurea says, so, he wants you to kill that savage the mayor calls his daughter, does he? Hardly seems a crime to do so, but I guess I cannot allow assassinations to take place. I won't arrest him unless I have some actual evidence, though. Or did you think I'd simply take your word for that? <laughs> word for fact. Ha! And Valentine says, well, we haven't actually got proof besides our word yet. Aurea says, as I suspected. Alright, well in that case I'd like to talk about some matters concerning the Legion. The Legion is none of your concern, he says, but fine, go ahead. Well, there's some sailors looking for her work. Perhaps there's a place for them in the Legion. Are you daft? I don't need soldiers. Or, I need soldiers, not sailors. Who cares if they can tie a knot and blow a goddamn whistle? 
Or do you simply want to get free food, huh? Is that it? Uh, well, let's discuss those expeditions into hostile territory you mentioned then. Aria said, The bravest of the brave went out looking for the source of the undead. Volunteers all, those men. For that is the pact we made. The walking dead spawn in endless number, but someone or something must be responsible for each and every one of the miserable buggers. And that's why the Legion is making renewed efforts to locate this accursed fountainhead of death. Too long have we been on the defensive. It's time for action, even if it claims more Legion lives. Souls of steel to a man, my soldiers. They fight by the lighthouse, they fight by the burial mounds, and they fight by the old church. Gods grant that they may find the rotten root from which those scuffling monsters spring, and that they may fulfill their missions. So, in regards to the lighthouse, Arya says, There's a lighthouse to the west, up on the bluffs overlooking the sea. No man has gone there in a decade, and yet a light shines forth from its pinnacle every night. The locals say it's haunted, and if there's ghosts involved, maybe necromatic magic is in play as well. Half a dozen legionnaires have gone to find out. So far, I can but hope they are safe. Uh, okay, but the burial mounds then? There are ancient funeral grounds all over the place north of the city. Good as a place, good a place to start. Yeah, let's try this in English. Good as place as any to start looking for necromancers, wouldn't you say? Doesn't exactly take a genius to figure that one out. Some local archaeologist offered to tag along with the men. Here's hoping his knowledge on the subject may prove to be a boon. All right, well, the old church. Aria says. There's a church to the northeast of here, built atop the very place where once stood a temple dedicated to the source. The Sicilians raised it and built a church for the Seven, supposedly to symbolize the victory of the gods over evil sorcery, or some other such superstitious mumbo-jumbo. Anyway, when the dead rose, that is where they were first spotted, which makes it a likely candidate to house the origin of the outbreak. May my soldiers make it there and back again unscathed. Okay, I'd like to ask some more stuff. Ah, if you must. <laughs> yes, I must. I must interrogate you. Ah, so, your main problem is the undead. Bravo! Figured that one out, did ya? I haven't been stuck here for two years because we're being besieged by fluffy kittens, you know. Those brain-feasting freaks out there keep on coming, and it takes all the sword arms and all of Aru's half-baked contraptions to keep them at bay. Keeping them at bay. That's all we do. Word that I could break their backs once and for all. So, how are you enjoying your stay in the city, then? How am I enjoying it? Are you spoiling for a fight, Hunter? Are you? Sicil reeks, stinks of fish, reeks of orcs, and on a good day the wind disperses the stench of decomposing corpses. I can't remember the last time I had a proper piece of steak, and by now I wretched the mere sight of sardines. So in conclusion, I am not enjoying Sicil. Alrighty then. <laughs> tell me, uh, uh, tell me about the Legion. We are the pride of Rivalon, to be found and to be seen everywhere. We don't hide in the dark and lurk in corners like some I could mention. No, we protect the civilized from the barbaric, and we do so impeccably. Are you make, uh, casting a slur upon our name in this, this particular part of your... Yeah, I don't think I like you that much. Alright, what, in your opinion, are the orcs doing on the beach? Aurea says, I'd say they're looking for weak spots in our defenses. They can't make an attack over land for fear of Aru's magical machines, so they're trying their luck by sea. It won't succeed, though. Not against the Legion. And about that pact you made with your Legionnaires. Aurea So I did, the pact of volunteers. Not a single of my men and women wants to remain in Sicil, and frankly, I can't blame them which is why I personally sign their transfer orders the moment they make it back from a mission behind enemy lines. The chances of survival during these sorties are about 1 in 10, you see, and, then there, and that is the reason I don't simply order my legionnaires to go on expeditions any longer. Every soldier can volunteer, and if they are successful, they bought themselves a boat right home. Hmm. Aru tells me he suspects a sect might be at work around Sicil. Yes, and he also spends most of his time in the guise of a cat licking God knows which body parts. Sects. Sorcerers. He'll be seeing flying carpets next. He's a cat? He <laughs> so, one of these times when I run across a cat, it might be the wizard? That's good to know. 
All right. Well, thank you. I think. Bye. Yeah. Bye. I think you have a critter problem over there. Right. So where is Aru? We need to go to talk to him too. Okay, that's Aureus's office. So he must be upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Aha, Aru's study, which looks kind of messy. A trap disarm toolkit. It's all, it's all, I can't have it. Meow! There he is! <laughs> oh, that's great. Greetings! Aru the cat says, Source Center, welcome to my most humble atelier. No need to look so flabbergasted. It is I, Aru, in my other, rather preferred guise. So, now that the cat is out of the bag, what can I do for you? <laughs> ah. So, Valentine says, How about you tell me a little, a bit more about yourself, Aru? And Aru says, But certainly, what would you like to know? Who, or rather, uh, what are you? Aru says, Oh, I am but a wizard, a guardian of man and beast, and indeed, I am both. My body, like any other, is bound to temporal decay, but my spirit is a speck of light that shone forth from the eternal sun that is the cosmic soul. My task upon this earth is to protect the heart of nature, the very antithesis of which is the intrigue spun by demons and directors of the dead, hence my involvement in Sysiel. You see, my one desire is to witness a world in which every mother looks around her and purrs with calm contentment, for she knows that her chicks or children, her cubs or calves, will grow up without knowing the meaning of menace, the enfeeblement of fear. To my great regret, none of them purr as yet. So, you can take the guise of a cat and prefer it over your human form. Something like that, yes. Polymorphing has always been a hobby of mine, and I use it quite often. Does it surprise you that I favor my feline figure? Ha! <laughs> oh, it does many. Actually, it doesn't surprise me at all. But then again, you haven't experienced just how far certain boundaries are pushed back when you tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech, perhaps humanity's greatest asset, cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. It's handy to speak in more than meows. No question. Opposable thumbs? I couldn't brew potions or make machines without them. This I freely admit. But to be out in the night, to stalk on silent paws, and hunt with only the moon as your witness, you could possibly imagine the thrill. Isn't it dangerous for you to polymorph like you do? What if you get stuck in another form? And Aru says, oh, that'll never happen. Granted, a witch could make the polymorph permanent if she'd enchant me and my cat guys, but I'll just have to be careful around witches, won't I? I'm my own wizard, you know, and I don't intend to become anyone's familiar. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about the Source Center business. By all means, Aru says. All right, well, let's talk about Jake's murder. Of course, I hope your investigation fares well. So, what happened the night of the murder? Valentine asks the cat. <laughs> Aru says, I can but piece together what few morsels fell from the grapevine into a rather disappointing meal, I'm afraid. They say a woman arrived in the Kig Crab Inn sometime after midnight. She retired to a room on the ground floor, where she was soon joined by a man who had been nursing the same cup of wine for hours. I say man and woman, because both of them were cloaked and recognized by none. About an hour later, another figure arrived and headed for the same room. Soon after, a terrible commotion erupted and the thundering light of magic was witnessed by the few remaining patrons. It took a while for the landlord to pluck up the courage to enter the mystery room. When he finally did, he found Jake there, dead. How and why he came to be there, no one knows, but I had a good look around the scene of the crime before the Legion barred anyone from entering. The traces of magic I felt were vile. Source, no doubt. So, who, in your opinion, are the subjects? Valentine asks. The cat. The cat says, I myself have none, even though the rest of the town has already mentally tried and convicted Jake's wife, Esmeralda. Now, it may well be established that she is in fact the guilty party. I'm not claiming that I'm certain she's innocent. 
But let's just say that if I really thought this murder case would be so easily resolved, I wouldn't have sent for source hunters. That's a good point. So, Valentine says, is there more you can tell me about the strangers that seem to be in league with the orcs? Aru says, I can't say much more, but that they're madmen all the more dangerous to us because of their al alliance with what should be a natural enemy. You won't see me teaming up with a terrier in a hurry. You spend a lot of time as a cat, don't you? <laughs> Valentine says, I'd like to ask you some further questions. And he says, uh, what might those be? Valentine replies, what can we do about the undead that threatens Cecile? Aru says, those who are raising the dead dwell among us. They simply must be. But even though I've spent many a night leaping from tree to rooftop, watching on as citizens stagger home from the inn, or simply burn the midnight oil, I haven't spied a single soul worthy of true suspicion. The enemy is wily. They know us better than we know them, and they've found ways to avoid both the detection and distrust. And yet, I am somehow convinced that you may succeed where the Legion and I have failed. Call it instinct. Uh, so then Valentine says, you seem to have a bit of an orc problem. Aru says, you have a flair for understatements, Hunter. I'm sure they are but a minor nuisance in the eyes of a born warrior, but to the Legion they are green-skinned death incarnate. Until they conclude what mischief they ten intend to see us through, or, less likely, they're conclusively defeated, we can but bar the gates and hole up like mice while the cats are on the prowl. Uh, so how did you design those magical ballistae of yours? Aru says, Oh, a mere trifle for one with the intellect of a feline and the engineering skills of a human. You basically construct a classic ballista and add 100% legally obtained self-regenerating source of destructive magic to it. And Bob Cat's your uncle. <laughs> I like that 100% legally obtained. Yeah, perhaps he doth protest too much. Uh, do you, do you uh, Mr. Cat, do you have anything to trade? Oh my, you have a lot. Large healing potions. Oh my, that's expensive. Hmm, I already know that skill. No, oh, no, oh, I don't think we can afford any of this, however beautiful it is. Uh, a barbaric aged robe. Well, it's not really any better than what I'm wearing. Outmoded robe. Well, we can't really afford that. Alright, well, what you got? I'd... Used to identify equipment. A repair hammer. Um, I want to buy those, but I don't really think I should spend money on them just yet. So, yeah, I think we'll skip it. I have so much stuff in my inventory, it's scary. Okay. I'll take my leave then. Bye. Bye. Um, okay. Well, let's see. I guess we have permission to go back into the room now. Uh, the old church. Okay, so we got a bunch of basically uh, quests to look at. So, I think... So is that one not considered completed yet? Huh. Elf or blood feud. Hmm. Alright, well. We have a lot of fascinating stuff around here. I wish you could read books without picking them up. <laughs> okay, bye, Pusscat. He's working on something else here. Alright then. Uh, so I guess we should go back to the inn. That says we're at the shop. Where's the inn? That's the warehouse. There's the King Crab's King's Crab Tavern.
Recruits. That was sloppier than Sicilia. Attention! About fish! <laughs> to the barracks! March! Okay, so that's the gate there. So I guess... Can I actually go right over to the inn? Over... Here-ish? I think it's closer to the inn. I think this is the inn here. Oh, cool. You can watch them running around. Eventually they'll get here, right? <laughs> yep, they're almost here. Here they come. I've spoken to Aureus, but let me inside, please. Not exactly the friendliest bloke the captain, is he? Says the legionnaire. Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy! <laughs> ah. Alright, well. And you won't let me turn it anymore. Okay, well. I guess we'll open the door. Uh. Lovely. What was that? You've unlocked a new room at your homestead. Okay. The heck? Oh, that's one of those stones. Okay. Painting of a woman. Right, well, let's, I guess we'll start with... Let's look at that. Looking good. Okay, well, let's chandelier. Burning... what? Oh, it says it's burning. Okay. Well, I, I don't actually want to take all this stuff. I'm supposed to be looking at it. I can't sit on this, not in that state. Ah! Uh, that's not quite what I had in mind, Val. I might get out of there. Why am I taking all this stuff? Okay, so you can turn them on and off. I don't want to take this stuff, I'm just be looking at it. Jeez. Okay, that's locked. We'll look at that in a minute. Okay, can you come over here, please? Over here. Can you do anything with that? Okay. Can we move it here? Okay. Oh, you can move the candles around. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> I'm stealing all this stuff. Ah, I don't want to go on. I don't, know, I don't really want to steal the stuff. And we're we're supposed to be looking at this, not looting it. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything to look at in this corner. Right. Well, let's look at the stuff we just put in our inventory. There's feathers inside. Um, inert stone. Okay. Worth a pretty penny. I, I don't know if we should be taking these and selling them or not. Um, I mean, they're, they're free. I think I can, we can have them. But, we'll see. Uh... Can you move that? I just want to move these things off the table. Or off of here in case there's something underneath. No, didn't see anything there. Alright, so I think the... The chest... 
Is there anything up here? I guess the chest is our best best bet. So that means we need to have you try to pick the lock, I guess. So hopefully this will open it. Good! What's in there? A letter. It's take that. It's letter. official. The Duke of Ferrell is the worst poet in Rivalon. In his defense, not much rhymes with murder. <laughs> ah. All right. You can travel from one pyramid to the other. Connected parties will follow whoever is initiated travel. You can use the pyramids while holding them, or you can place them, place or throw them on the ground and interact with them. In order to pick up a pyramid once more, you must drag it from wherever it rests in your inventory. Why do you have a smoke screen arrow? Give, give that to her. Um, Alright, well, let's, let's read this. Dearest Esme, your lips are as red as emeralds, your hair as black as birch, your love is like cholesterol, and oh, my heart, it hurts. I want to hold you in my arms and stroke your little head, and all this would be easier if Counselor Jake were dead. Forever yours. <laughs> that is a horrible poem. And he doesn't even know what color emeralds are. Uh. Alright. How about I give you this stuff that a light pearl oh that's right we found that an inert stone um fries right click to teleport to the location of the other pyramid okay can have all the fish. Huh. Okay. Yes, yeah, some ill-gotten paintings. I guess we'll keep. Alright, well. That doesn't really tell me much now, does it? Hmm. I was expecting to find a little bit more of a clue in here. Maybe I can have my guys wander around and they'll find something that isn't visible to the naked eye. Maybe. Well, or a fat lot of nothing. We can play here all night. That doesn't solve the mystery. I think it would be wise to inspect the counselor's corpse and see what clues we can find. All right, and the counselor, you want to go digging up a body? All righty. Uh, we have to inspect the body. And the Roberts, he's buried in the graveyard to the north. So I guess we're going to the graveyard in the north. So I would take it that the north is that way. So there is a gate over here. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Did you get lost? Uh, I, I forget how to take these off. There we go, right click. Okay. I was kind of hoping I could click on the location and have them run there. Uh. Alright. I think the gate, that's if this is the north gate. I think it's the north gate.
Or is there another gate up here? There might be another gate. Come on, scroll back to them. Oh, we need to get down there to see that. That's in what is in that chest too? At some point. All right, there might be through here. Ah, here maybe. All right, let's try this. And see if that says that's the north gate. While we wait for them to arrive, I'm going to have a drink of water. Which tastes oddly of cheap tea tree oil. Blech. Excellent. Let's keep it that way. Hmm? What? What's that? Bunch to leave the city is to venture into danger. Be careful, source hunter. Oh, well, thank you. Who are you? Legionnaire. Legionnaire. That's the West Gate. The West Gate. Proceed to the lighthouse. Uh, no, we wanted to go at the North Gate, so... We'll go around this way. Poisoned fields. There's something going on out there. Yuck, my water tastes funny. I'm being poisoned! Just kidding. I'm sure it just tastes funny because it's been sitting there for a couple hours. <laughs> oh! Yes, this looks like the better where we ought to be. Here they come. There's so much to this city yet. It's, it's awesome. I like to explore the you know, entire cities before doing stuff, but I think it's just going to take way too long. Oh, here's some... Let's go look at these first. And then we'll go in there. What does this say? Here lies Gregory, as I told you so. <laughs> Here lies Judith. Warrior princess. Oh. Excuse me while I pick some mushrooms. Here lies Neil, <laughs> killed in the line of duty. That's sad. Rest in peace, darling. Hmm, what's this one? Here lies Kimberly. Fight. Where are you, Jake? Okay, move Looks like that dog is awfully agitated. Perhaps he wants to tell us something. Hey, dog. The dog says, Hey, wow, I was wondering where that awesome sweaty boot smell was coming from, and here you are. Wow, this is great. I'm Murphy Jake's dog. Wow, you smell great. Have you been rolling around on dead things all day? That's my favorite hobby, too. <laughs> Valentine says, Tell me about yourself, boy. Or if he says, you know who I miss? Jake. Sometimes he'd just sit there being awesome, and I'd give him a list look like, you smell great. And he'd give me this look like, you do too, Murphy. And he was my best friend. I came here so I could smell Jake again. He smelled great. But whatever's buried there doesn't smell like Jake at all. No, it's definitely not Jake. He was awesome. So, about your master master's death, boy. Bow! If I ever find out who killed Jake, the most awesome Jake who ever jaked, I'll, I'll, I'll bark so much. Seriously, so much, you'll have no idea. Uh, I've got to go now, boy. Interesting. Keep you. So he doesn't think that's Jake that's buried I there. Smell you do. Well, where's this other person talking? Let's go talk to this person, too. Greetings. Ah, she says, peace be upon you, traveler. May your lost loved ones rest in peace. Valentine says, tell me about yourself. 
Siva says, I once lived a prosperous life with my husband and our happy little daughter, uh, Loni. But when the undead plague broke out, my dear husband was among the first killed. Loni never recovered from the loss, and when a group of mercenaries, predator, predator is more aptly called, came to town dangling the opportunity to annihilate those evil undead devils, Loni lapped up their rhetoric and joined with us without so much as a backward glance. She was killed less than a week after she joined. Here she lies, and here I stand, mourning the death of my last joy. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You don't have anything to trade. Um, I'll take my leave then. Bye. Bye. Alright, so I want to read these other things too. What is this 